this is Tiffany here. Hope you guys are having a great week. Today I want to share my thoughts on one of my favorite handbags, which is the Dior Saddlebag, and hope you guys enjoy. Comment, like, and subscribe. So, as many of you know, shoulder bags have really made a really strong comeback in the past couple of years, and because of that, Dior recently relaunched their Dior Saddle handbag a few years back. It was a vintage style before, came back a few years ago and honestly when I first saw the silhouette I really liked the style of the bag but for me I was really waiting for the right color combo, the right texture, the right um, pattern before I bit the bullet because it's quite an expensive bag so I ended up waiting until 2019 before buying the bullet and I purchased as you can tell this beautiful one right here it is a, I believe it's a 3D floral print, as you can tell here. It's in calfskin and matte black. So it's completely black, the bag, um, and the hardware. I recently purchased um, a Dior Twilly just to add it on the, the strap to protect the strap because the leather is quite um, sensitive, so I wanted to be mindful of that. A couple of reasons why this particular colorway stood out to me was I really like all black handbags because they're very versatile in my collection. On top of that, I got it in the medium size and that actually fits quite a bit. It can fit my phone, it can fit my keys, I can fit like hand sanitizer and a couple other gadgets and surprisingly, they all fit in here. Also, I'll show you in um, a next snippet me holding the bag it actually looks really nice on the medium size to give you a little bit of context i'm five foot six and i also just love the how iconic this bag is and i feel like now that i'm a little bit more mature in my handbag collecting days i like to buy more timeless pieces so i don't have to switch out my bags as frequently and the dior saddle is one of the most iconic silhouettes I think the only downside with the bag, again, my preference is actually crossbody bags, but you know, right now shoulder bags are in. So I still have a preference for crossbody bags, but nonetheless, to be in the trend and to, you know, also be using a bag that I really like that's a little bit more unique. I've purchased this bag, but it's. So, in terms of sizing, I would definitely recommend getting the medium size. The mini size I also tried on for the Dior saddle. It was absolutely too small for me and it couldn't fit really anything meaningful. So consequently, I just didn't feel like it was worth the thousands of dollars it was cost. So I passed on it. They are very cute though. So I personally recommend the medium if you like to put your phone in, if you like to put a couple things on. I also don't find it overbearing um, of a size. I think it looks very nice and elegant on. I think what I also love about this particular Dior saddle is it can be very, you know, dressy. It can help dress up a very simple outfit just given the beautiful ornate details on the bag. Additionally, I like that it's edgy too because it has the all, you know, matte black hardware. I personally prefer that for this bag than the gold hardware, but I've seen beautiful colorways with the gold as well. So if I were to rate this bag, I would give it a solid 4 out of 5 um, stars. And my only, you know, tick is really because one, you know, across um, a shoulder bag, there's, you know, a little bit of that hassle of like having that on your shoulder. And then the other con is for this one, it came in a smooth leather, so it's I have to be more cognizant in storing it and when I use it to not have it scratch. So I don't use this bag as often as I like because of that, but nonetheless, every time I wear it, I get a lot of compliments and I really love the bag. So it's one of those more like special occasion type of bags and not the one that you would use every day. So the 
those are my overall opinions on the bag. I, as mentioned earlier, overall think it's a stunning bag. I think it's definitely one worth to be in your collection. And I'd really highly recommend the one in the size medium. So comment below if, you know, your thoughts on the Dior saddle. Is that a yes or no bag for you? And let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm happy to answer anything below in the comments. Have a good one, guys.